hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to answer the was ict elective 2024 uh, practical paper now as you can see on screen uh, i'm first in this video i'm going to be answering the excel part um, there are three questions there with three different applications uh, that is Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Access. I will do these um, tutorials in separate videos, but in this uh, video, I will be focusing on the Microsoft Excel path. Now, if you look at here, um, in the question number two, it says, use Microsoft Excel uh, application to produce the table below in sheet one. <coughs> now, as you can see, you have, uh, uh, you're, you're given the information or the data that you need to type inside Excel. So I've already did this inside Excel. Um, uh, so we just now have to, I just now have to show you how to answer the questions. Now let's first look at the first question here, uh, which says rename sheet one as great. Now uh, that is quite simple. So all you have to do is to look at where you have sheet one here is either um, you can you can simply just double click on that sheet one and name it as grade so that's the first question and then from there you have save workbook as grading in the folder created on your desktop now take note uh, in the first page here you have you have been shown how to uh, name the folder that means your index number and the initials of your name okay and it should be saved on the desktop <coughs> so now i'm going to save the file so i'll go to file and then go to save as and then click on browse and then i will go to my desktop the folder is already created which is here so i have my index number here and then i also have the initials of my name so let me change this this should be of for usman Fal. so this is an example and so i'll open the folder so remember you are asked to save the file in that folder and you name it as grading okay and then you click save all right so if you look at here so it says save workbook as grading in the folder created on the desktop so we have done that now the next part it says all headings should be capitalized bold and centered with font size of 14 and font color of green now if you look at here if at all you already type this uh, that's why it's important to read the questions first if at all you read the questions first then uh, you can just uh, make all these headings capital i can also show you another method of um, changing uh, these uh, headings from title case to uppercase letters uh, in just in case you don't want to retype them again <coughs> so you have two methods it's either you retype the headings or um, you can use a function in excel to change all these things into capital letters okay now the method i'm going to show you first what i'm going to do is i will uh, add a new row here i'll just right click on row number one and then click on insert so in the cell a1 here i'll just say equals to upper and then i will press the tab key to complete the, the function for me and uh, here i have to just click on the cell here which is index number so I'll start with that one and then I close the bracket so the only information it needs is the name of the cell that is containing the text that you want to convert from whatever case to uppercase so now when I press the enter key as you can see it changes that into uppercase so I can use the autofill button here or the autofill um, handle here to drag across to make sure that all the other ones also are converted into capital letters so let me just expand so you can double click on the uh, between the the two columns to make sure that the data fits properly so now um, the other 
problem you're gonna get is now you don't need the uh, row number two so when you right click on row number two and then you click on delete you're going to have a reference error now why this is happening is because uh, the data that is here these are not actually text they are formulas and then they were referencing these other cells so that's the reason why when you delete this you're going to have that reference error now to fix this problem before you delete this what you need to do you need to convert these formulas into um, um, values because when you look at this you see the moment i click on them um, when i look at the formula bar i am seeing the formulas there so what i'm going to do i'm going to force highlight the cells and then click on copy and when i click on copy as you can see now the paste is activated so i'll click on the arrow of the paste here and i'll click on paste values so immediately i do that um, this uh, information here now has been converted into values instead of formulas because when i click now as you can see on the formula bar i'm only seeing the content instead of those formulas so i'll press my escape key to remove those dashes and now i can come here and then delete um that particular row now like i said this might be a long method but um you can also uh, delete it and then type it again if that is easier for you you can delete it and type it again in capital letters okay but that's also another method in case uh, you do not want to retype you can use that method okay <clears throat> so now um we we, we move to the next one okay so we have to now it's capitalized now so we have to apply bold so let's apply bold um, to the heading so we highlight we apply bold and then uh, we center it we click on the center button and then also we increase it to size 14 size 14 so we can double click between the column headings can double click between the column headings so that the information will fit and then now we have to change the color to green so we change it to green color okay now um, one thing i want to show you also is <clears throat> if you look at here the index number the index and the number uh, um, if you want to put them uh, if you want to bring the number up below the index now what you can do here is if for example if you double click on the cell so between index and number make sure your cursor is blinking there so all you have to do is to press the alt key on your keyboard and then you press enter now when you do that and then you press enter again then now you'll have that okay so you can simply because normally if you type uh, enter if you type index and then you just type enter without pressing the alt that means uh, you just entered in that particular value and then move into the next cell so anytime you want to break create a break between two texts or series of texts on a particular cell you press the alt before you press the enter key and also if you want uh, this uh, as you can see like the text here is appearing at the top instead uh, different from this one okay if you want it to be at the top there what you can do is uh, if you look at this option let's say i can highlight all of them like that and then there are these options here if you look at them their name you have the middle align you have the top align so let's say i click on top align so if i do that i'm going to have this at the top or if i want i can just uh, click on the middle align or the bottom align okay so I'm just uh, showing you these options just in case um, you wanted to do them but it's exam so you just do what you are asked to do but just in case you wanted to arrange your headings that way so now let's move to the uh, next option here so even though we are not asked you are not asked to border you can simply border it just to make your work look more presentable okay so i will apply a border so remember to apply a border you highlight the information you come here to the borders and you click on all borders okay so now let's move to the next question so if you look at the next question here is use an appropriate um, use an appropriate formula 
or function to compute the total marks for each student. So let's do that first. The total mark for each uh, each student. So it's easy to do that. So all you have to do, uh, the best way, because this is exam, uh, to save time, just highlight all the numbers, including the cells or the cells that uh, the, where you, you want the totals to be. Then from there, when you click at the top here, when you, you will see auto sum. So the moment you click auto sum, auto sum will total everything for you. So you can just double click to confirm whether that's the range uh, Excel has calculated. <coughs> or remember, if you want to do it manually also, you can just say equals to sum bracket open. If you want, you highlight from 75 to uh, 58. Or if you want, you can just say cell D2 is to um cell f2 and then you close the bracket and press enter but like i said to save time just highlight the numbers and then click on auto sum that will give you the total okay so the next question is um <clears throat> find the grades by using the criteria below so if you look at here um we're going to find the grade here so let me just um place this thing here okay so that we can be seeing the question and then also uh, the exam so here it says uh, let me just do this let me just expand this a bit okay let me just expand this so here it says uh, find the grades by using the criteria below so it says uh, the total so we're focusing on the total here <coughs> so from 230 and above it's the grade should be a between 191 and 230b between 49 and 92c and anything that is below 150 uh, is f so it's a bit tricky but i will show you how to solve this problem so first we're going to use the the if function so we're going to say equals to if and then we uh, press the tab key to open the bracket so here with the if function you have uh, three different things that you need the first one is the logical test and the second one is the value if true and then the value if false so here we're going to be we're not just going to use two values here we're going to do what is called nested if so we're going to have different ifs um, within uh, this uh, for, uh, function okay so here we're going to say the logical test is we're going to say if the value in uh, cell g2 which is 195 is greater than um, or equals to then we put the 230 so we're going to say 230 so that is the condition right now that is the logical test we're saying if the value in cell g2 which is 195 is greater than or equals to 230 and then uh, from the comma so we're gonna we're not gonna leave any space so we're gonna use double quotation so be careful don't type the single quotation twice you need to type the double quotation so you have to press shift with that key then we're gonna type capital a and close it with the double quotation <coughs> so here we're saying uh, any number uh, that is greater than 200 that is greater than or equals to 230 is going to have an a okay <clears throat> then from here we open another if so we're going to open another if i'm going to press the tab to open the bracket <clears throat> so we're going to repeat the same step so we're going to say if the cell g4 uh, sorry g2 is greater than or equals to now this time around is yes, here it says between 191 to 230 so we're going to say 191 uh, comma quotation b and then quotation okay so that means from 191 to two, uh, two, two, 229 will be b from 191 to 229 will be b and then from 230 above will be a okay so now we place another comma so we open another if and then we move to the next one uh, which says um between 149 to 192 but also it says here below 150 so what we can do we will just say if g2 is greater than or equals to 150 
okay 150 and uh, we will now say um, quotation c quotation okay so here we're saying go here it says below 150 is going to be f below 150 is going to be f so what we need to do after the comma is just to open a double quotation put an f and close the quotation okay so remember here we are going to close the bracket uh, three times why we are going to close the bracket three times because we have opened three ifs we have one if here two three so we're going to close the if three times so we're going to okay so that's the reason why if you look at here the so this uh, bracket is closing this other one you see everything is color coded this other bracket is also closing this one and the black one is closing the fourth if okay so when i press enter now i'm going to have a b so if i have the first one i don't need to go down and calculate the rest so all i have to do is to click and drag using the fill handle to be able to get the the results of the remaining so if you look at here um the value so you see anything that is below 150 is going to have an f okay so from here now um let me just we have another question that says insert a footer that shows your full name okay so to access the footer so let me just put this on full screen and then uh so to access the footer what you need to do is uh you will need to go to the view tab here and then you go to page layout view then you have access to the footer so there's the footer um, so it says the footer you put your full name so i'm gonna put my full name there and then i will go back to the normal i'll go back to view and then click on normal the footer is there so on a normal view you cannot see the footer unless if you go to the page layout so the last question here says uh save the workbook as final grades in the folder created on the desktop so remember we saved a copy initially before we perform any calculation so we're going to save uh, the final one so i'm going to say files sorry i'm going to say file save as and uh, i'm going to save this as final final grade final underscore grades okay so make sure it is saved exactly how you are asked to save the file so i'm going to locate my folder you see i'm in my folder on the desktop so i'll click on save okay so now i am done with the work okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to save this so i will first confirm on my folder so as you can see i have the two files there i have the first file that is before i start the calculation oh, sorry i have the first file here that is before i start the calculation and also the last file um, which contains uh, the calculation so um, this is how you can answer some of these questions so um, that's what i have for you in this video i hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos of this kind